Yes. There we go. Got it. All right. So hello, Facebook community. How are you? Um, I'm Jacqueline Kane, and I am here with my great friend, Helen Terry. We have a special, special announcement to give to all of you. And so first of all, for those of you who are new to me, I'm Jacqueline Kane, medical intuitive and the low back pain master healer. Um, I help women heal the pain and the trauma that they've experienced so that they can live their lives with more power, pleasure, and passion. And I would love to share with, share Helen Terry with all of you, because she's new for me to sharing with you, my community. Um, so, I, and I love the bio that you gave because I didn't know some of these things about <laughs> the amazing Helen Terry who is in the house. Um, she has been helping people love their bodies and lives through NIA techniques since 1993. As one of the top lead international NIA teacher trainers, Helen travels the world offering classes, special events, and trainings. She has a special and very effective way of catering to the unique needs of each individual. She helps folks feel great while giving them the skills they need and she's recognized by Origins Magazine as a top inspirer in Texas. She's multi-talented with a magical formula. She combines experience and knowledge with determination and faith to consciously create and bring ideas to life. She's founded Nia Moves Houston in 1996, a successful Nia fitness studio in Houston. And she now co-owns Soma Ranch Retreat Center in Montgomery, Texas with her husband, Joe. Welcome. Thank you. It's, it's what an interesting thing sometimes, you know, to be reflected back from someone else. I know that bio, but when you say it, there's this, this connection. And as you were sharing that, I was thinking, is that where we met? Like you met Alan, was it at Nia Moves doing an event with Alan? Um, so I think the very, I forget if it, the very first time I met you was probably going down to, to learn his work and he took us to your, uh, one of your facilities, or there was a time when it was one of his events where you yeah. came and did Nia dance. Yeah. yeah. And so for those of you who don't know Alan Davidson, um, he is the founder of Evolutionary Mystic Meditation. And before he passed away earlier this year, he had certified, there's only about seven practitioners. I have lost track on the full numbers and I've lost track of when I came, became certified. Um, but the work has been absolutely transformational for me. Um, and I know it's been transformational for you also, Helen, and for yes. so many other people. Do you want to share a little bit about what that's been like for you? Yeah, um, sure. Yeah, for, for me, I know Alan Davidson um, actually through Nia Technique, which is what I teach, but I've loved watching how he evolved into bringing all these different things together, like meditation and tapping, voices of evolutionary process. And I love how from that connection with Alan, I've met people like you, like each of these advanced facilitators, you're one of, of, of this small group of people that you each have so many unique backgrounds, yet there's this amazing um, integrative approach of how to come into the whole body, whole healthiness with mind. And then I'm so intrigued to learn more about from you, your medical intuitive um, experience and your tapping and the coaching for wealth and all these things that you bring together. Um, the part that I like to bring is, is, is the body part. I loved when you shared it's all about passion and pleasure. And I'm like, yeah, I meet you right there. I think <laughs> we were, you know, we're living in skin. Yeah. As a human on planet Earth, we're living in a body. And it's our birthright not only to be connected with our body, but to be passionately connected with our body and our life and moving towards greater and greater pleasure and ease away from pain, which we really weren't designed to be experiencing, other than I think pain is just that temporary thing to nudge us 
in the right direction. And I, my sense is that's where you and I really meet on the same path, even though we have really different backgrounds. <laughs> really different backgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> and, and people don't even really know what Nia dance is, Nia moves. Do you want to share a little bit about what that yeah, is? Yeah, happy to. Nia's actually been around since 1983. Um, I discovered it in 1993. I actually got married to stay in the country to go do the training. That was how magnetic it was. I was just like, I don't know what this is. It's way mm -hmm. beyond my comfort here. But something inside of me said, I'm supposed to do this without knowing really what it was. Um, I didn't come from a mind body background. I came from a mainstream exercise physiology background, but there was that place of just a knowing inside. And I think that's something about what you do in your practice and what I do is just helping others get to that place of, of listening to mm -hmm. that place of, of knowing, of discovering uh, the way we're meant to be. So anyway, without really knowing what I was doing, I say, I say spirit mandate. I was just mm -hmm. called to do this thing, Nia. So I stepped in and um, Nia is a movement arts program that evolved um, integrating martial arts of Tai Chi, Taekwondo and Aikido. So you got the slow dance, the precision and spherical harmonious movement all from martial arts with the dance arts of jazz dance, showmanship, performance, modern dance, expressive shapes in space. And then the work of Isadora Duncan, which is called Duncan Dance, Honest, Free-Spirited Movement. So those martial arts, drawing from the wisdom as well of these amazing dance arts, combined with the healing arts of yoga, which I think now is more mainstream, and then the work of Moshe Feldenkrais, which is about creating new neuron pathways, and then Alexander Technique, which is again another postural alignment breath awareness program of really getting aware of where our vertical line is, where our breathing is, where our awareness is of gravity down electromagnetic up. And the good news is, is experiencing Nia as a participant, you don't need to know the technique of any of those things. For me as the teacher, I'm the guide that has drawn from that wisdom through the training. It's a belt system. So it's a white belt, blue belt, green belt, brown belt, black belt, first and second degree black belt. Mm -hmm. And I'm a teacher trainer of most of those belts now. Um, but what's wonderful is as a participant, it's just to come in and be guided in how to move what we call your body's way. We recognize that every person has a current design and function of the way they're meant to be and the way they're meant to move, think and feel. And the way we are today is never the same as the way we were yesterday and will never be the same again. Mm -hmm. And so there's this transformational process of how can I really connect with the real me and mm -hmm. my body's way like none other on the planet mm -hmm. and have that in relationship with what we call the body's way. So the body's way is the science, the ideal that we want to be moving towards. So like when you were saying passion and pleasure, it's like, that's the body's way. There's this ideal of how every single person on the planet is designed to be and we want to move in that direction. And mm -hmm. when we do, we receive more ease, more efficiency, things come to us easier, we can experience abundance and mm -hmm. success and feel satisfied. And really, it's not only about our body and fitness, it's about our relationships, it's about our careers, it's about our lifestyle, and having dreams come true. Um, so that in a nutshell is near, it's been around a long time. I love how it's really kind of withstood the test of time. Definitely a program that's evolved slowly, but now mm -hmm. it's taught in more than 40 different countries. And mm -hmm. um, I feel very pleased that when I started, I was the 76th person to sign up for the course. <laughs> and now more than 20,000 people have done the course. So it's been great seeing this evolve. And I feel now with this work of the evolutionary mystic tapping and everything that um, Alan Davison was bringing um, to, to this planet is I feel like I've stepped into something with this program and deepening my relationship with you and the other facilitators. This is like Nia was you know, 30 years ago. I think yeah. we're, we're starting something that is evolving 
that could really, really rock the world. Yeah. Yeah. It, it blows my mind, right? Like I was just thinking about it today. I think finally today, like I'm really living my life. I'm finally being me. And as you were talking about how Nia helps you, it's almost like it helps you to be more present, right? It helps you get grounded in our body because the work I do that it, it's going to be so beautiful to combine both of our, our works together because the, people are spinning. People are scared. They're, they don't want to feel all the senses that their bodies are causing us to feel. So we go in our head and we spin and the world is spinning. I had one client come and he drove over my grass. Like people are, people aren't even thinking of what we're doing, you know? <laughs> so I'm very excited to combine forces and to help people transform. The work we're gonna do together is going to help people feel better. It's going, you're going to get rid of that pain. You're gonna start, for some of you, your pain will go away. For others, you will begin that process of allowing yourself to release that. We're going to work on your money blocks. We're going to work on your blocks of creating deep connected relationships. And the most important thing I think we're going to work on, and I think what both of our, our works do for people is to help you stand in your power, yeah. to feel the confidence, to feel grounded in who you are and, and bring that authentic self out to the world and set amazing boundaries. I don't want to say too much because some people will get scared, but the transformation and the results, just like you said, a lot more ease and flow and abundance. And it's just going to happen. You don't even have to do anything. You don't even have to go to work or think about it or journal. It's beautifully going to show up for you. Yeah, and, and definitely from our witness from our previous retreat here is don't make any assumptions that this is going to be necessarily a painful process or but it's going to take a long time. I think they're the two big assumptions folks can make. It's like, no, with this work, it's like this can be miraculous. This can be rapid. This can be just revolutionary. And sometimes it's like, wow, I don't have to understand everything that's happened but I know I feel better. And for me, the definition of healing yeah, is to feel better. It's like, I feel better about my body. I feel better about my relationships. I feel you know, better about my relationship with money. Yeah, it's all very cool. Yeah, that component of, of, of wealth and money, for me, I hope that some near people and just in general, um, wellness professionals, near teachers, maybe even near trainers, I think sometimes when we work in the mind-body field, we can be so flowing in abundance with what we have and the gifts that we have to offer and, and a, a wealth of information, yet there can be that blockage around finances, around what my value is, around, you know, I'm here um, and I see that I have value, but I would like to also be not only cosmic salary, but actually receive some financial salary on what yeah. I do. And my impression is that's part of what you're going to be bringing to this experience. Yeah, yeah. we're going to uh, one of the gifts that I that Alan shared with all of us at one point was an ancestral energy clearing. And for me, it was just profound. So if I can share just a little story. So when I was there um, at his event and he took all of us, I don't remember how many people were there, but it was a large group. And I didn't feel anything during the process. And so actually, let, I'm sorry, let me back up. I get excited. So before I got to Texas, it was about, it was about this time of the year the holidays. And I was with my in-laws and my sister-in-law had just lost her father and her sister. And I knew the holidays was going to be really tough for her. So I made the suggestion to the whole family. I said, let's get out of here. Let's go to Ireland. My mother, mother-in-law's from Ireland. Let's go. Let's get everybody, the kids, the grandkids and go. And my mother-in-law was like, we're not going flat out. We're not going. And I said, all right, guess we're not going. 
So a month later, I'm with Alan in this workshop, takes me through the pro all of us through the process. Literally, he ends the process. I get up from my chair. I probably walked 10 steps because we were all just taking a break. My phone starts ringing. My son texts me to say that um, he found a house for all 13 of us in Ireland. And I said, that's great, but we're not going. The next text was my husband to say, things have shifted. My parents are on board. We're looking at flights. And it was one planning step after another. And it was the most beautiful, the best re vacation we ever took. And my mother-in-law still talks about how meaningful that was for her. So when something like that happens, I went back and I'm like, what did you do? What was that? <laughs> and I'm sure many people who have worked with Alan Davidson have said, what did you just do? I need to know because it's profound. And that's when I started using this work with my clients. And now I use it for all kinds of things. So literally it's helping people get out of pain. One woman said her back pain went away during one session and it hadn't come back. So um, we're going to, we're going to clear any ancestral energy that you're, that you're carrying with you, that you don't even know you're carrying. And we're going to, recently I was even thinking, let's go into some of the voices in regards to all of that and heal the inner children inside of us. So it's going to be really, really profound. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, I think you're so right about present times. People are spinning and, mm. and simply from this, this big shift we've had, um, there can be this, I like to call it illusion of separateness. Yeah, yeah, that we can feel that, you know, we're detached or we're separate from things. But this kind of work helps us see how everything really is connected. And when mm -hmm. we tap into that, there's infinite possibilities. Um, mm. But what's lovely about an extended retreat, like what we're doing for five days, is right now, I think anybody listening to this is like, I think we all need a little time to decompress. And there's yeah. been so much happening that we need the time and the space yeah. to really be able to move through something. So I love how we're going to be collaborating together, like your leader session and then our leader session, and then we'll be available for questions and answers. So it really is going to be an immersed small group hands on where they're going to have me and you there yeah, to facilitate how we move through this. But then there's also the, the nature and the environment mm -hmm. and people living on site. There's enough space. We've got 15 acres and some beautiful amenities so that people, when they want to have quiet time and when they want to be outside, when they want to be reflecting and just moving or walking, that there's time and space for that. And there's time for connection with you and me and also the fellow participants. Um, so I really feel right now it's like really an antidote of what's been going on in the Zoom room and technology and all this isolation is we need, this is not like, oh, I'd like to connect and go on a retreat. I think it really is shifting from want to need. Like yeah. this is important for people to to realign, to feel safe and to be able to stop spinning yeah, get into your body, get into who you truly are so that you can succeed, you know, just simple things like so you can sleep well and be able to make decisions fast and make good decisions. I think a lot of people are spinning, don't know what to do. Should I do this? Should I do that? And this is a big exhale. Let's decompress. Let's reset and really help people move forward. So. Yeah. And create maybe the best year of their lives in 2022, right? Who knows what's possible? And yeah. you had said it, the it's unlimited possibilities of what's possible when we actually become present and stand in our power and take back control of our lives and be the CEO of your life. You yeah. get to plan it and create it. Yeah, so cool. 
what do, I'm very curious about what you brought like you you started you started was it as a massage therapist I saw bow and <laughs> stuff and then I'm curious like how do you become a medical intuitive was that like like for me I just sensed near and I knew I was meant to go that way but how did you find out that you had this amazing talent and then how did you sort of harness and develop that so I really started actually as an x-ray tech. So I learned a lot about the body and I learned a lot about how we treat the body for different illnesses. So I worked in an x-ray department, I worked in the hospital and I really understood the physical body. And then I went and had my first massage on a cruise ship. And I, I am one of those people who spins and I make my list, even on vacation, I have a list. I'm gonna do all this stuff. And after that massage, I couldn't think. I was like, what just happened? Because this stopped. And I just, like you with Nia, I felt like, wow, this is something I think I'm gonna do someday because it was so profound. It just caused me to relax and be in my body, which I'd never, did that before. Mm. Um, and then I, I had the opportunity when my kids were young, I asked my husband, I said, can I go to massage school? Oh my God, I worked full time. And then two young kids, it was, I, I would not really recommend it to anybody, but I did it. And I just went on learning one thing after another, because I wanted, I want to help people end the pain, not maintain it. Yeah. I don't like those word pain, ma um, pain management, like who came up with that? Mm. So I just, as the universe just started putting things in front of me there, I was learning like Bowen therapy, which is a neuromuscular repatterning and liposage and then EFT ancestral energy inner child healing. And now I've put it all together where I use my intuition. When I help during my massages, I use my intuition and guidance and even during my um, healing sessions, I use bring all of that in. And that's my explanation of a medical intuitive is just using all of our senses to give, to do what's best for the client in that moment. Just like right. you had said, in that moment, who are you? What do you need today? And so that my agenda can take a back seat and just be focused on you because that can change every single day for people. Um, That's yeah. beautiful. How interesting in near one of the triads we develop our technique on is science, craft and art. And really how you've described that, you know, you have the scientific background, you've developed the craft of several different modalities, but then also the, the art, yeah, that you're tapping mm -hmm. into a gift that I think that you've had all along that you're now cultivating and finding a way to be able to share it with other people in a way that can truly make a difference so yeah and it takes takes time right to stand in our it took time for me to stand in my power and say this is who i am this yes. is what i offer um so yeah so has retreat have you done retreats or have retreats been on one of those to-do lists for you on a dream list so i have actually I worked with a coach one time and she said, you're going to do retreats. And I was like, what? <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm excited because this is the first opportunity um, that has come up to actually do a retreat. So this is my first five day retreat for people. I've done workshops and yeah. smaller events, but I'm really, really excited to have people immerse in the healing process and walk away feeling amazing. Absolutely. They're going to amazing. It's, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah. I love how Summer Ranch is sort of the space holder for that. I think I dream, I used to go on retreats and sometimes I'd be a presenter at mm -hmm. other retreat facilities. And I had the dream of owning and leading a retreat center. And now I am on that side. I love how, um, I and Soma Ranch and my husband Joe that does all the yummy healthy food. But you don't have to recreate, you know, you don't have to create a retreat center. It's like mm -hmm. 
we've worked out all the kinks and everything. We've pretty much got this down. We've been here for 12 years. Um, that you get to step in, in your brilliance and to share and really help other people. And you get fed as well in this mm -hmm. beautiful environment. Um, and yeah, so you don't have to recreate the wheel. Yeah, he's like, act like this is your place. And um, <laughs> yeah, definitely from when Alan died, one of my, you know, what's really strong on my heart is number one, to keep the work of Alan and Davidson alive. One, mm -hmm. just personal, I adore and adored um, Alan. And, and so it's personal that this is yeah. a way that I can be um, contributing to, to the legacy of what Alan had started. I just imagine him looking down and smiling on us, you know, keeping this yeah. going. That's the yeah. personal side. And then there's the place of really wanting to develop a deeper relationship with each of you as facilitators. Mm -hmm. And really to deepen anything, it, it's to spend quality time. And so that's like people yeah. coming here on the retreat, it's quality time. Yeah. And then for me, part of my motive is to get to know each of you amazing advanced facilitators mm -hmm. better. So we can find this dance of how we can help each other and help other people mm -hmm. in the process. So, yeah. I'm looking and I that. like that. Yeah. Finding our way, dancing through our lives, you know, it is a dance if that's how we choose to look at it. So. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. In near we have that place of creating the connections between the dance floor and dancing through life. And so what we do mm -hmm. here in this room, so here I am at the Soma Ranch studio and we can find things in the dance with music. We can also find things on this dance floor. And probably when you're doing your sessions, we also have like comfy chairs so people don't have to be worried about sitting on the floor or doing yoga for hours on end. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of what I call the domain of comfort. So yes, everyone can find comfort in this dance room. Um, but there's this immediacy of what you learn in the studio to then be look at how can I dance through life as I step out into my lunchtime or I choose to book a massage or mm -hmm. maybe I go for a walk in nature. I could go down and fish in the pond and catch fishes and visualize how that is symbolic for whatever mm -hmm. else I'm going to catch as I, you know, as I move on from the retreat. So. I really love how we can be bringing that beautiful weave. Um, so people leave a retreat like this rather than just like, wow, I had an experience and now I've got to go back to life. Instead, it's like you and I hopefully are the hand underneath that I'm just saying, just let us be the hand underneath to mm -hmm. boost you over that fence or that gate of limitation. So that yeah. my hope is at the end of those five days, people can just walk out feeling relaxed, feeling better than a vacation on the beach for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And life skills that they know, oh, I can integrate this into my life rather than having the separateness of that was a retreat and now I've got to go back to life. Yeah. Yes, yes. And I recently went on a retreat and it was, they kept us busy like all day. <laughs> this is not going to happen. That was not a retreat. A retreat is when you process or you, you do an experience and then you take the time to integrate and process and be present to what you're feeling and you move through it. We're going to allow time for integration, time for processing, time for ahas and even visualizing, okay, when you go home, how would you like that to be? Yeah. Right. And you're going to have the tool so that when you are home, and you, you hit a wall or there's stress because it's a very stressful time. You're going to have the tools where you're going to slide through it. You're not going to sit in it for so long anymore. Exactly. It's going to be easier. Yeah. In near, we have a tagline called through movement, we find health. And the reality mm -hmm. is with the human body, mm -hmm. it is true that the only thing constant is change. Yeah. Um, but through movement, we find health. But if I don't have any space in the body, like if I don't have any space in my joint, I can't move, I can't heal. And if I was asked, what's the one thing that rookie retreat leaders do? And again and again, I do it when they come here to do retreats at Soma Ranch, is they over schedule the retreat where there's not enough space for yeah. that movement of the body, the mind, the heart and the spirit. So 
one thing we're playing with is some of the days there's going to be you know lovely breakfast a morning session lunch and then pockets of time in the afternoon to nap or chat or enjoy and then the evening meal and then sometimes having an evening session so that gives more space during the day but the other thing i like about this is so much can actually move and heal and transform while we're sleeping and mm. so by having an evening session and then maybe stepping out looking up seeing the stars maybe enjoying the fire um i need to check what the moon's going to be at that time but usually there's just beautiful stars maybe we're lucky with the moon as well but there can be all of that and then going into fabulous sleep well and the brain is then, you know, we're in the, um, the unconscious mind mm -hmm. is really dancing while we're sleeping. And mm -hmm. um, yes, I'm excited that you were on board with us looking at doing lots of time to process mm -hmm. and some evening sessions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think that was a great idea. Great. And even as we go through, you know, I'm open to shifting to it's what's best for everybody who shows up because it's, it's, it's about you. It's about the people who show up and making sure that you get what you need to yeah. go back home, energized and refreshed and ready to take care of your family, to do what you need to do to live your life. So this is all about you. Yeah. Plenty of time to feed the donkeys too. <laughs> So this Shine Your Light retreat, five-day retreat at Soma Ranch is January, Thursday. It starts Thursday evening, January 20th, 2022 at 3 p.m. And it goes to Monday, January 24th, 2022 at 3 p.m. Yeah. And we are offering $500 off for those of you who register before December 20th. Yeah, I love that timing. Maybe someone might ask for it for a, a holiday gift. And mm -hmm. um, also, you know, like booking. So that's really the a month before the retreat. Yeah, the retreat is right there in the 20s. It starts on January the 20th. So we we chose that really attractive early bird price to to make it as affordable for you as possible, but also so that you can relax and have something to look forward to. Um, so. Um, I, yeah, anyone who's um, sitting on the fence wondering about this, I'm sure that we can leave contact information that you're available if they have any more questions and I'm the same way. Some questions that come up is some simple things like how am I going to get to the ranch? So just so you know, we're within an hour of the Houston International Airport, which is actually a central hub. There's usually a direct flight from pretty much anywhere in the US into Houston. And then we have a couple of fabulous private drivers. I met them through Uber and um, and now they're actually, they, they work for us. Um, so it's very affordable, easy to be picked up at the airport and we have people drive you here to Soma Ranch or you can rent a car either way. So mm. I can give the information about how to get here. The summary is you just fly into IAH, Houston International Airport, and we help connect you and, and let you come up here. Um, and then there's choices with accommodation. You can do mm. private accommodation, semi-private is you, with you sharing with one other person. They're more like hotel rooms with two nice beds. And then the dorm is very spacious. It's actually next door to the studio here. Um, it, it's a spacious room um, with plenty of space. People get worried it's going to be like a Girl Scout camp and they think they're going to be in bunk beds. Don't worry. There, it's single beds. There's actually a queen bed in there and then some single beds. We also have this little sort of tent system where even though you're in a big spacious room, you can have privacy within that room and Everything is really well heated and air conditioned at Soma Ranch. That's another thing sometimes people are concerned about. So it's very pleasant. Awesome. Um, yeah, so we will be leaving the link to register and our information to contact us. And please feel free to reach out to either one of us. We will leave our contact information 
um, if you have any questions. Anything else? No, um, this is a small and intimate retreat, and we did that for three main reasons. One is, I think both of us, we really want to cater to the individuals in the group and for this to be an intimate experience. For me, definition of intimacy is paying attention to the details. Mm -hmm. And so by having a smaller group, it really is, we can really pay attention to the details of each individual in the group and then just the collective nature of the people who come together. Um, and then also we're really honoring presently how people do have fears around uh, around COVID and wanting to know that they're going to be okay. And so we can list the policies we have here at Soma Ranch. So we're following CDC guidelines and we're running at a, a lower percentage occupancy so everyone can have their own space. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so hopefully we can diffuse any fears and concerns, but they're two of the reasons. And then the final one is I don't know about you, Jacqueline, but for me, it's just like it, it, that that place of knowing that you and I were here to truly provide a quality transformational healing experience um, mm -hmm. where people can be seen and heard and held. And that's really why we want this. This will be a small group. So it's a limited space. And um, I hope you can join us. Yeah. And, and we want to be able to attend to everybody's needs. So it's small and intimate. So if this feels aligned for you and you really want to create something for yourself outside of what you ever expected for 2020, 2022, we would absolutely love to have you join us. Um, and we're really looking forward to this. Yeah, it's gonna be a new year, a new day. It really is, you know, shine your light. And yeah. um, look for beautiful possibilities in the future. Thank you so much for initiating doing this, Jacqueline. And I, I'm having such pleasure getting to know you better. <laughs> Going to be fascinated with um, with how you facilitate this, and um, I look forward to getting to know you better too. Ah, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs>